Hi. On your lunch? I'll get you another coffee if you like. I could do with a break. I've been sitting chewing my pencil, staring at a blank page that's supposed to be my Christmas Day sermon. No, oh, you've got ages yet. Christmas isn't for days. Oh, that's all right then. Why don't you just dig out an old one? You must have years' worth of stuff on that laptop. That stuff done is my job. You OK? You're very pale. I just feel a bit sick. Anyway, I'll get us another coffee. Dawn? Dawn, talk to me. Sorry, I just, I just went really weird. What happened? You passed out. Just stay where you are, take deep breaths, I'm going to call the surgery. Hey, is everything OK? Oh, she, uh, she just fainted. Yeah, I just haven't had any breakfast. Oh, dear. Well, I'll ask you a few questions if that's right, Don. I'm fine, honestly. But she hasn't been well for a while. Right. How did you feel before you lost consciousness? Uh, my stomach was killing. I just felt faint and dizzy. Ah, it is killing. <laughs> what was the date of your last period? A few weeks ago. Any chance you could be pregnant? No. No, no I don't think so. I mean, you mean using contraception? <sighs> Sometimes. OK, well, just try and relax. Let's have a little look here. How is she? I've advised her to go to a &E, and time is of the essence, sir. If you could drive her there, I'll let them know you're on your way. Of course, thanks. Dawn? Uh, not now, Dad. She's, uh, she's not very well. What's the problem? You should talk to Dawn. Everything all right? Does it look like it? Oh, please just go, Jamie. Look, you stay here with your dad, Dawn. I'll go and get the car. I need to get to the hospital. Well, look, I can take her. The car's just there. It's your fault she's in this state. If you weren't working her into the ground. It's not his fault. It's... Just leave it, Dad. Yeah, we've got this, Jamie. Thanks. OK. Well, if there's anything else you need, then just... The doc must have said something. It's serious if she's got to go to A&E. OK, but try and stay calm while Dawn's distressed enough as it is. Go on. There's a possibility she could be pregnant. She's got severe stomach pain. She's really not well. Well, she's losing it. I don't know, but at least now she's seen the doctor, we can get her some help. She's going to be fine, Will. Who told you that? God. I'm wasting time. I'll go and get the car. She's my girl, not yours. Anyone takes her, it's me. It's a wonderful life. James Lena, if anything happens to her or that baby... I knew Dawn had been off colour, but I didn't know how poorly she was until today. There is no baby. There never was. Can we go home, please? Have the doctor said you can leave? Yeah. What did they say, love? Just given me two lots of antibiotics and said go home and rest. Antibiotics? What for? If you're that puller, they should be keeping you in. You don't need to tell us if you don't want to. Why wouldn't she? I've got an infection. I ignored the signs. It's something called PID. What's that? Pelvic inflammatory disease. It started off as chlamydia. You know what that is, right, Dad? It's an STI. Got it from one of the fellas I've been with because I couldn't be bothered to make him use protection, my bad. So you weren't protecting yourself at all? You could have caught anything from any of those... Punters. That's what they're called. And yes, I do bad stuff with bad people for money. So bad things are always going to happen to me. That's not true, any of it. Come on, let's get you home. I've got to come back in a few days. What for? Um, an ultrasound. It's urgent. You just said there isn't a baby. There isn't. The infection, it's damaged me. If it's as bad as the doctors think, then you don't have to worry about me. I won't be making any more kids' life a misery. There won't be any more babies. Not now. Not for me. <laughs> 